My name is Rebel John Tickett. I've been born in Katanning in 1941. I've been reared up in Beverly when my father came back from the war. From there, I never left Beverly till I was seven years old. So I got on the train. And I come this way to now and see my mother and father and I stayed here in 1952. When we used to live up Clayton Road, near the rubbish dump, that's where all the Aboriginal people, 700 Aboriginal people used to live in the, in the bush there. And they have to walk to town. After six o'clock in the afternoon, you've got to be out of town. It's very hard to talk Noongar way because a lot of them are lost. Sometimes I talk Noongar way to my kids and they'll ask me what I'm saying and I, I have to tell them what I'm talking about. When their parents used to talk Noongar way to us, government or the police around, they'll, they'll put them in jail. They check the women and all, they check them all in jail. Drop, drop them my way. Some of our grandparents were teachers. When they in the bush, they talk long away. When they were someone else, they talk English. The last old bloke who taught me is old Samuel Miller. That's my wife's grandfather. Him and another old bloke were talking long away. It's in the bush is different. If, you, if you're looking for a feed, it's right in the front of you. That's my life, living in when I was young. Well, my life changed because uh, I got three grannies. And they, they, they my, like they my little shadows, or, or I'm like their mother and father. I like whatever they want me to do, I'll do it for them. They want to go catching joggies that want to go somewhere, I'll go and catch them some, and they'll come with me. They come with me, they go out in the bush, they want me what I eat, they, they want to fight me for it, what I do, some of it. Cultures is not dead through my life. I've been through it, I know what it's like. 